Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. Today we're doing the pre-plan in my main Cultivate What Matters planner. Um, I have been saying for a long time that I am going to um, switch out my planner for the rest of the year. Um, I do have one coming from Avalon and Ninth. I'm just not sure when it's going to actually arrive to me. Um, so yeah, expect a giant haul coming up soon, guys. Like I am waiting for quite a few packages, but again, um, yeah, it, shipping is different for every shop and depending on what they do. And I know that, um, Amanda makes her planners in-house. So, um, like I wanted a personalized cover and like all the the things so I may not get in it by July well I think I should probably get into it by July um it just it really does depend on like um her like I think her shipping process time for planners is like up to three to four weeks which seems reasonable by the time they have to make all the covers and stuff because they're personalized and then of course I get it shipped to the United States and then they I get it reshipped to me so anyway it's a whole thing um, but I'm going to set it up. So I am so excited. So just, just wait guys. It's, there's going to be a really fun setup video for that. Um, because I convinced and begged and loved Dawn. So Dawn is doing some full page art for me for my dividers for that planner. So I'm like, I'm really making it like my own, like all the loves and all the things. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set it up and how much I love it. And it's going to turn out awesome. I'm already excited about what the scoop is. Um, so this is uh, Yoda Dad from um, Coco and Fluff. Of course, this is one of my favorite kits of all time. So this is obviously like um, Star Wars themed um, Walt Disney World theme park um, things. And you've got like the two dads, like the father's son. And of course, this is for Father's Day. Let me tell you guys my awesome, how great of a mom and uh, partner I am. So I thought Father's Day was this last weekend. I have no idea why. I even did a pre-plan for it. Like I even pre-planned, like I, I, I have no idea, but I got it in my head that it was this last Sunday. And so like, I had like, we made a card for dad and we wrapped a gift and we took him out to supper. And then my friend, of course, as I was talking, I was at work and they were like, uh, is it father's day? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, uh, next week. And I'm like, oh my God, I like me, I'm like texting my husband, we're going to take you out for Father's Day tonight. And he's like, okay, sounds great. He obviously didn't have the heart to tell me that it was like literally the like next weekend. Although, let's be honest, I'm not sure if he actually even know what weekend it was. <laughs> so anyway but now I have to remember to call my own dad because I was like I was gonna call my dad I was gonna call my brother I was calling like all the men in my life I was like I was like it was father's day I was doing all these things I woke up in the morning and I thought this is it this is the day I'm so organized yeah I got the wrong day so anyway, long story short, I need to remember that this Sunday is actually Father's Day. My husband, of course, doesn't care as long as I like celebrate with him. He he don't care if I like pick whatever day. Um, and then the kids picked him out a really fun Hawaiian shirt, which is what we got him for Father's Day. And then we always just take each other out for um, like a meal. Um, so yeah, so we went out for a really fun meal and like I went and got him Dairy Queen after, which is like an ice cream place. I'm sure you guys have Dairy Queen, right? The United States has Dairy Queen. I'm sure you guys do, right? Now I'm second guessing myself. I don't know why, but anyway, so yeah, so yeah, so we had a really, really good time. It was like great. Um, yeah, so that's what we did for Father's Day. Um, I love this art. I think it's so cute. So you you guys are ever wondering, um, uh, there is like oh, an exclusive art section in the Coco and Fluff website. Um, I use, these are um, rolls that my friend Sarah from Pinnacle Sticker Co. gave me. She didn't like them. She doesn't like the roll ones because they do tend to rip. Um, and as all things with sticker shop owners, Dawn, Sarah, they are titch much more meticulous than I am. <laughs> <laughs> they they actually care if their boxes are straight and that things don't rip on them and put them on the page. So me, I'm like, eh, whatever. So 
because <laughs> I'm an eMERGE nurse. So anyway, so I'm just like, eh, it kind of works. That's good enough. So anyway, she was so generous and gifted these to me. And I love these tapes. So I've used them quite a bit. These are from Rose Colored Days. I don't I honestly don't think she carries much of them. They were kind of um, like a really popular like thing. Oh, was it? Is it two years now, guys? Two, three years now? How long has it been a thing? Oh, I want to say two or three years. Um, and it's so funny. Like I didn't think I've been planning long enough to now notice the fads in planning and how like plant sticker planning like goes through stages where there's like actual like fads and not fads and yeah so like these overlay tapes were a huge thing and she used to have like a subscription that you would get and I still have them and I still use them um and I, don't get me wrong I love all the things so I love the like rolls but I also love like um the colorful foils as well um I'm sure eventually I will get on the like double underlay foil thing I'm just not there yet guys and honestly it has to do with price point um I just I find even doing foil with the kit like it doubles the price of like each spread and this hobby is kind of expensive as is so I'm trying to be a bit better and good and like like stick to my budget and and it's quite big my budget's quite big like most people would like probably fall over and die um but like my budget's quite big big for this like fun entertaining hobby that I have so um I just think it's important that you kind of like if you're going to have a hobby like this because this is a hobby this is not a necessity um that you at least budget for it so anyway so this is just I always found that these rolls were an economic way to budget um so I'm just laying down my boxes for like our daily plans and what we've got going on we are rounding up the end of school here so our school year goes to the end of June and then we start in September because of course in Canada um we don't get a, it's like a much colder so we want a longer like summer hot period um where you guys I think you guys in most states end in May and start again in August I think if that's correct um so yeah we don't start school again till September so my kids are just winding down school like my um, one son in junior high has got his test schedule and stuff out. So um, we've, we're just organizing all that kind of stuff. So we're just getting ready to wind down like sports and test schedules and all that kind of stuff. So just figuring all that out. Um, I also used just like a, I love the art. So I didn't want to use like a, a thing that takes away from the art. So I just used the solid gold um, like boxes. And then I'm just putting in like my daily tasks. So in the checklist, I always put like I do laundry and I do grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. Um, this week, I am doing my crazy trades so I am working 11 11 shifts in a row I did this to myself so I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me this is this is a I chose to do this um, and the reason I chose to do this is when I trade because I couldn't get as much holiday this summer because I work in a smaller place so there's only so many people that can get time off at a certain time so I am working straight nights so I thought it would be really fun to put a sleeping character sticker at the top of every box because I'll be sleeping during the day and working at night all this week um, and I also thought it would be really fun um but I did it so that I could get holidays off in the summer. So I have, like, I work really hard for, like, two and a half weeks. But then I have, like, a week and a half off. And then I work really hard for, like, nine days. And then I have, like, two and a half weeks off. So, like, like don't feel bad for me. Like, I, it's just I have to work really hard for a certain chunk of time. But then I have a big chunk of time off. And that's how I like to have my summer. So that I have lots of time to go down to our lake house. Um, my mom and dad's lake house. And, like, visit with family and meet up with friends. And I have just lots of fun summer stuff going on. Like, we have a family reunion that's happening. And my nephew is getting married. So it's kind of fun to go back to, like, the wedding season. Um, and see, like, all the things that you did. <laughs> did. Um, and it's so funny how, like, things change. 
Um, like, I remember planning my wedding, even though it was, like, a long time ago, but, like, all the little things that change and, like, things that, that happen and stuff with the young people and, like, the engagement photos and the dress shopping and just all the fun stuff that are involved with weddings. I always find it, like, a fun, entertaining time. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this plan with me. If you ever have any questions about any of the character stickers, um, just leave me a note. Um, I don't often like super zoom in because again, I can't see like when I'm filming, I can't see my, my, like what I'm actually filming. So I don't want you to miss out on anything. And this planner is definitely a bit bigger. So I just want to make sure that you guys can see the whole page. But if you do zoom in and you are interested in where I received a character sticker or a script, um, I do tell you like the majority of the stuff is from Coco and Fluff, Pinnacle Sticker Co., Once More with Love, like Fox and Cactus, that kind of stuff. My favorite work stickers, of course, are always from Fox and Cactus. They are the zombie nurses. I like pre-buy like six or seven sheets ago when I go um, shop from her shop because she is in Australia so it does take a little bit longer to to get to me but they are my absolute favorite character stickers for work sometimes I'll use a tired panda eye but most of the times it's always the zombie nurses anyway I hope you guys are gonna have a great father's day for your family if you don't celebrate it this time that's okay just give the dads uh the love for you and also give all those puppy dads a good love and hug because of course they also are important um all the pet daddies and stuff and then the grandpas and all that kind of stuff all the men in our lives because they make a big difference in our lives definitely in mine for sure anyway thanks for tuning in and as always I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.